Seven mysterious discoveries science can't explain. You know, it's amusing and baffling that there are amazing discoveries that didn't earn a eureka moment, but made the smartest scientists scratch their heads for years. These experts spend their whole lives searching for answers to some of the world's biggest mysteries. Yet some of their findings defy logic and are still waiting to be solved. Our ancestors left behind artifacts that even scientists can't explain. The thousands of golden spirals that are obviously not jewelry or an ornament, for example. Or a megalithic structure with no ancient items left behind to show its true purpose. An old city wiped out with no apparent explanation. Then there's the swimming reindeer sculpture made from a mammoth tusk. <laughs> what was the thinking behind the creation of this Ice Age art? Before we unravel some of these mysteries, hit that subscribe button and turn on the little notification bell. Now you'll be the first to see the new videos coming out daily on the bright side of life. Let's start with number 7, the main penny. Yes, it's the main one. This coin, which is also called the Goddard coin, was found at the Goddard Archaeological Site by amateur archaeologist Guy Melgren on August 18, 1957. The site is an old Native American settlement in Naskeag Point, Maine. Melgren identified it as an English coin minted in the 12th century. However, two weeks after Melgren died, the main penny's classification was put into question and a group of experts in London re-examined it for authentication. They later discovered that it was a Norse penny, and this was confirmed by Kolbjorn Skar, an expert on Norse coins from the University of Oslo. The coin was made between 1605 and 1093, during the reign of King Olaf III. But how did a silver Norse coin, the only Norse artifact discovered at the site, travel all the way to Maine. Is this the first evidence of Viking contact with North America? Was the coin a traded object? What if the main penny is a hoax, given that the year it was discovered is the year when fake Viking artifacts were rampant? Did Melgren plant the coin in the site to create confusion? Will we ever know? <laughs> Keep watching this channel! Number 6. Gold Spirals Archaeologists often find valuable items like gold, silver, and precious jewels, so it doesn't necessarily thrill them when they discover a site full of the stuff. This was until nearly 2,000 gold coils were unearthed in Boslunda, Denmark. Dr. Fleming Call of the National Museum of Denmark describes each spiral as a thin filament that weighs one half pound and measures about one inch in length. They date back to between 900 BCE and 700 BCE. However, experts still don't know what they were for. The area of Boslunda is a hot spot for Bronze Age artifacts. At the time, the sun was one of their sacred symbols, and gold was their main offering, because they believed it possessed special magic. Fleming and other researchers assumed that these gold spirals were part of a priest-king's costume or headwear which would have been worn during ritual sun ceremonies. However, this is yet to be proven. Ah, those crazy Danes! Number 5. Alaska Artifact Silver, gold… hmm, what else is missing? Ah, bronze! Specifically in the shape of a small, buckle-like object. A team of researchers from the University of Colorado wanted to study how people adapted to the climate change that happened in Cape Espenberg, Alaska between 800 and 1400 CE. One of their interesting finds was a strange bronze object that seemed older than the house they were excavating. The buckle-like object had been cast in a mold with a small leather ring attached to the bar, and it was about 2 inches by 1 inch. Thanks to the leather material, the researchers were able to estimate how old the object is through radiocarbon analysis. It's 1,500 years old. But how did it end up there? The Inupiat Eskimos inhabiting the area had no prior knowledge of metallurgy or bronze manufacturing. Is it another misplaced artifact 
or proof of migrations from East Asia to America? Where did it originally come from? Makes you go, hmm. Number 4. Rujum el Hiri We've heard of Stonehenge in southern England and the stone spheres of Costa Rica. But it seems our blue planet never fails to amaze and puzzle us. Consider the mysterious landmark known as Rujim el Hiri, which means stone heap of the wild cat in Arabic. In Hebrew, it's called Gilgal Rafim, the wheel of giants, since it's rumored to be the handiwork of giant beings. Rujim al Hiri is another remnant of the Bronze Age, and it dates back to an estimated 3000 to 2700 BCE. The megalithic structure is located in Golan Heights and is made from approximately 44,000 tons of basalt stones. It stands 8 to 15 feet tall, and the walls are nearly 11 feet thick. These stones were stacked together to form a wheel like design with four or five massive circular rings and a burial chamber at the center. But is it really a burial chamber? Scientists were not convinced by that theory, because no body was found inside. The tomb was empty, probably looted by robbers. Based on a 1998 research project by Professor Anthony Anveni and Professor Jonathan Mizrachi, the site is believed to be a central storage facility defense enclosure, ceremonial center, burial complex, or center for astronomical observations. However, its true purpose and the exact date of its creation is still up for debate. Number 3. Mohengo Daro Whenever archaeologists find an ancient settlement, the question that first pops into their minds are how and why its inhabitants disappeared. Since the discovery of Mohengo Daro in Pakistan less than a century ago, scientists still don't know the answers to these questions. They do know that it was built around 2500 BCE and that the ancient city was ahead of its time. It had well-planned streets, drainage systems, public baths, baked brick structures, and its residential houses even had bathrooms. Mohengo Daro can rival the greatness of ancient Rome though it didn't have a central seat of government or evidence of a king or queen, according to a National Geographic article. Yet it's considered to be one of the most important sites of the Indus Valley civilization. The nagging mystery is how did a city with nearly 40,000 residents decline or collapse in 1900 BCE? There were theories of a flood, disease, or fire before British archaeologist Sir Mortimer Wheeler concluded that the city was invaded and its people were massacred by Indo-Aryans. More than 40 contorted skeletons were found in the streets and houses, according to the book Written in Bones by British archaeologist Paul Bond. Researcher David Davenport thinks otherwise, and he theorized that the city was wiped out because of an atomic blast. Whoa! In a book titled Riddles of Ancient History, by Russian scientist Alexander Gorbovsky, a skeleton with a level of radioactivity 50 times greater than normal was found in the vicinity. Again, these are only speculations, and further research is needed. Number 2. Longyu Caves The Longyu Caves in Xi'an Province, China, aren't your ordinary caves with cavernous passages, stalagmites, and stalactites. Uh-uh. The 2,000-year-old man-made caves consist of 36 grottoes covering approximately 32,000 square feet. They were found by a local villager in 1992. Its origin is a complete mystery from its construction and how it was preserved for a long time. If the cave took six years to create, it would have needed 1,000 people working day and night to remove about 35 million cubic feet of solid siltstone. It's a great feat considering we're talking about pure hard labor. Each wall and pillar was carefully chiseled in parallel lines from floor to ceiling. How did they achieve such precise engineering and artistry? When you go deeper into the cave, it becomes pitch dark, which makes their work even more impressive. There were no traces of construction or anything that could have been used for lighting. 
Nonetheless, they managed to sculpt each cave or grotto with the same model, pattern, measurement, and style. Who built the Long Yu Caves? And what were they used for? Unfortunately, scientists could not find a single historical document to solve this awe-inspiring enigma. Number 1. Swimming Reindeer Yo, Rudolph, do the backstroke! This artifact from the Stone Age was excavated in Brunicale, France, by an engineer named Pekka du Delis in 1866. It was first thought to be two separate pieces, but in the 1930s, it was discovered that it could be joined together to create a single sculpture. The swimming reindeer is made from the tip of a mammoth tusk that is 8 inches long. The sculptor possessed extraordinary creativity and skill. It was beautifully crafted with great detail, using only stone tools. This sculpture is roughly 13,000 years old and consists of a female reindeer leading the way with a smaller body and antlers. It also appears that the female has shading outlines representing her coat. Following her is a male reindeer with large antlers and detailed ears, but its body isn't shaded. They have their chins up, antlers back, and both legs stretched like they're swimming. However, their function is still unknown. Scientists assumed the sculpture was used for communication or as a talisman for hunting. But perhaps it's simply a depiction of an autumn winter scene where animals migrate and mate. Or maybe the reindeer were getting ready for the Olympics. Who knows? Oh, speaking of nose and reindeer, where is Rudolph? <laughs> anyway, which of the discoveries in this video amazed you the most? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to click the like button and share this video with your friends. Always stay tuned and subscribe to join us on the Bright Side of Life!